All right, guys, here we go with today's multiplayer round, downtown Alwood, Northern Breeze. See how we do. I'm going to keep, keep the water skip for downtown six. And uh, it looks like we're playing Daniel. Usually he knows if I'm recording my round, but he doesn't know this time. So we'll see how it goes. I'm still trying out the strive. I'm liking it a lot. There's still some lines, though, like especially some ace lines and stuff like that, where if I have this in the bag, it's a little harder to figure out. I'm just not as practiced with it, but I'm slowly figuring it out. I got unlucky on that bounce there. We're going to throw this on a forehand. This is the gold water skip. Threw the water skip just in case. Anytime I go over water, I like to throw water just in case, but I, I had enough to clear it anyway. 49 feet. Should be able to get that birdie. And we are tied after one at one under. I think Daniel's already hit... Uh, Champion level, whatever the purple level is called. One of the few that have done it already. Oof. Been changing up my line here. Strive looks cool. Daniel's liking the strive flight. All right. We're going to aim a little lower and put a little more flex on it. Oh, he might have missed. See if I can maybe get a stroke here. Oh, lucky rock. Oh, no. I turned it way too much. Shoot. I think I'm going to go back to my old, older line on that one because this, I've been running it with the ace run on one wins, but didn't work out well for me here. See if we could save our par, man. That's a tough little putt here. Oh, we got it to go. So we only lose one stroke there. Little around the, rotate the world action there to get away from that bush. But we're down one after two. That's not good. This one with this win, we're just going to go with the sapphire. Uh, I'm not going to throw the skip. I think I'm going to switch to the glide. This looks so cool in the air, man. I can never get old watching that. Such a cool disc. Right next to Daniel. Looks like we got the same play. Now we can just throw the water skip gold right up this gap here. Oh, man. My dog just got busted by my wife. I don't know if you heard that. <laughs> she snuck up here and was laying on one of the beds and got caught. All right, we got that one. Let's see if we can finish off this eagle. Nice. Still down one. Bunch of par threes coming up, though. So let's see if we can get an ace in one of these. Can't remember the layout already. Oh, we got Alwood. One wind. It's a perfect wind for this ace. Glide roll arrive. Middle chevron right on the where that branch comes off of that tree. Dang it. Too much. Too much fade. Knew that right off the bat. It's hard to get that to just release just right. I made it in a three wind yesterday. I was pretty stoked about that. Had an awesome round against Neuro Jesus. And that was one of the holes I got in a three wind. All right, we're going roller, forehand. I'm going to aim my aim a little bit farther to the right just because of this big wind. Oh, Daniel with the air shot. Interesting. He must have had some rough goes with the roller and decided to throw the air shot. Looks like it worked out well for him there. So we're both going to get the birdie and stay within striking distance here at one down. Five under to six under after five. Another par three coming up. See what we got. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell him I'm gonna call my shot here, tell him I'm gonna ace it. Be sweet if I got it, but otherwise this might look a little stupid, but been getting this hole a lot lately with the warship skip and it's only a one win, so we'll see. Skip it right in front of the bass. Dang it, I missed my line. Uh bounce off the wall. Get in there. <laughs> Oh man, we got it. Called our shot. There's our ace. Daniel's just laughing at me. <laughs> I didn't even see where he went, but that was funny. DGV showing me some love there because I did not think I was going to get it. But every once in a while, that's the nice thing about that line. This is the Vandal. Oh, this looks good too. Maybe a chance. Hit the. Oh, almost hit the sweet spot. But again, with that line, even when you miss left, sometimes you bounce off the wall like that. So I've been getting that 
that ace a lot more lately, so I felt good about my chances, and we got it to go, so we tied it up. All right, I love this hole. I haven't quite figured it out with the strive yet, just haven't thrown it enough. Let's see how we do. Ah, uh, how about this one? No, sorry, man, I ain't, ain't going to get this one. Not a very good effort, but she'll get the birdie. Make sure I aim high enough. Shoot that branch. Oh, I knew it. I was like looking at that branch right as I was throwing it. And I clipped it. Dang it, I should have slid out of the way. Or just aimed lower and thrown it instead of tried to putt it. That was a bad error there. And Daniel is unable to get the birdie, so I could have pulled away with the lead there. Unfortunately, I made a silly mistake. And we both got the par, so we're tied up going into the last hole. Oh man, I'm tempted to run this one. Uh, I'm just going to play it safe with the harp. Mark Laney taught me a fairway skip shot with this hole. Just having, I need to go back and practice it. So we get the tap in, get the birdie, and we get the tie. Awesome round, Daniel. That's what happens when you call your shot. We get the ace and have to do that more often. That was pretty sweet. But uh, let's take a look at the leaderboard. I know Daniel's up there in purple along with a couple others. Lombo in the lead. Then Mark Erickson. There's Daniel. 806. I've been doing pretty well lately. So there's 768 in 12th place. Not too shabby. Again at the top. A few others getting close to hitting that purple. Koopa and Dan. Dan. 